All right, guys, I do not know why China is painting pigs black, but it kind of enrages me, bro. Why? Why are they doing that, man? Painting pig. All right, let's check it out, guys. This is coming from another larger YouTuber with like 1.4 million subs. Just as a heads up. This is a man painting a pig black. Why? And here a man is spraying chili peppers to make them look more red, more sumptuous, more delicious for when you go to the restaurant and eat your meal. No way, bro. I'm not trying to eat paint, bro. No. Bro. Thankfully, I don't eat chili peppers, bro. Now, thankfully, I mean, food coloring's been a thing forever, bro. It legit. <laughs> so, I don't know. This man is wetting cardboard. What is going on? Okay, yeah, that's not... That's not super out of the ordinary. Wetting cardboard, guys? That's like... That's nothing, bro. What is that? Hey, awesome. So what's okay. behind all this nonsense pig painting and cardboard wetting, you might ask? Well, first we need to look at the opening of the Asian Games that happened a few days ago in China. A huge crowd gathered to film the opening fireworks, but... Okay, maybe they're doing an in, in like some sort of protest. Guys, I don't know what channel this uh, content creator, like, what kind of channel he operates. Maybe it's like specializing in like Asia related stuff. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, guys. <laughs> Yikes, bro. Everybody has a phone just like the USA, though. Nothing happened. Pe oh, man. I gotta get a green screen like this guy. People at home were astounded by the amazing light show and fireworks, but in reality, it was all fake. None of it what? was real. What? Was all AI generated, guys? I mean, the USA got writer's strike, but we might have full-blown AI generated uh, television broadcasts. No way. People watching the live coverage of the opening who were actually present at the venue were shocked and amused by the blatant deceit on display. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Guys. Now that's a definition of an in inside job, right, guys? Like... They're being lied to right in front of their faces, guys. Come on now. Did they think no one would notice? They got it in English? Guys, what is going on? <laughs> hey, it, it's just like, you know... Wishful thinking, bro, that they'll have something like that in the future, right, guys? That's all it is. Wishful thinking. <laughs> but uh, honestly, that would be super cool to look at, though, man. How, how did they even, how did they even uh, simulate this, bro? It looks completely real, kind of. So, yeah, sitting at home, you'd think this is the most impressive amazing opening of any games ever, but you know what? It was all fake. Let's get back to cardboard wetting and pig painting for a minute here, before I can fully explain what's going on. You see, with the cardboard wetting, it's pretty obvious. These recyclers gather cardboard and then sell them to recycling centers who weigh the cardboard and pay according to weight. So wetting the cardboard obviously makes it heavier, and by deceiving the recycling center, these cardboard... Damn, bro, that's savage, man. That's savagery. 
And, and bad business. Pretty bad business to do that. Collectors can cheat and swindle a few more cents per gram. Before we discuss the ridiculous pig painting, a quick word from today's sponsor. You know, th yeah, but that's like, you know, probably double the price of each, uh, or, or more per cardboard, guys. There was a time when it was safe to connect up. Unfortunately, those times are over. The internet is a scary place. And that's why I use a VPN. This a VPN? A VPN ad? No way, no way. This video is brought to you by the VPN of my choice, Surfshark. And what is a VPN? Well, think of it as a secure tunnel that allows you to access anything online without prying eyes or even your internet service provider being able to see what you're doing. But what if our uh, internet service provider is helping us, guys? You know that incognito window thing? No, no, that's not hiding anything. A VPN will. VPNs are super useful to anyone who values their privacy and their data and of course an absolute must-have for those of us who travel or use internet out there in the wild. The thing I like about Surfshark the most is that it provides all of this peace of mind and security without hassling me. Seriously, always keeping me safe and always having my back. The only time I need to fiddle with anything is when I'm choosing a specific server over... But yeah, guys, we've seen millions and millions of, of not millions, but you, you get the point. We've seen tons, tons of uh, VPN ads. N never anything mentioning, you know, switching country to watch a video on YouTube. Which is, I have no idea why they ban songs in other countries, but hey, we just gotta roll with it. Overseas, so that I can watch a show that's blocked or unavailable in my country. Give Surfshark a shot. Go to surfshark.deals forward slash serpents at a and you'll get a massive discount off of a two year plan and three extra months completely free. And now, yeah, bro, they should make it a hundred percent off. Then I'll be interested. Back to the show. As for the pig painting, well. In China, people know that pigs are horribly mistreated and pumped full of growth hormones, chemicals, and of course, they're very unhealthy. They're brought up in terrible conditions, often in squalor, being fed very unhealthy food and plastics and who knows what. Black pigs, on the other hand, are a very special type of pig, usually raised in a more free-range and organic way. And therefore, the black pigs sell for a substantial amount more than regular pigs. So these farmers are tricking defrauding and exploiting their customers down at the market into paying more for regular pork that's just painted black. Uh, that, yeah, another, another deceptive business practice, guys. When will it end? It's all bad, bro. So, why is China so rife with these cons, shams, and ripoffs? Let's look at this famous... You should be angry at this, man. Come on now. I've heard, been hearing good news about China. The average income skyrocketed, but now we got stuff like this, guys. Famous Chinese saying, Nung pian, jiu pian, or if you can cheat, then cheat. It is sad that cheating and being cheated have become an expected part of everyday life in China, but having lived there for 14 years, I can tell you that everybody is expecting the person at the shop to rip them off. If you go Wow, well, fake fermented tofu. Going to a market and you want to go buy some sh What? Uh, this is still like uh, common in the USA though as well. But may probably not as common as what they're doing, guys. Look at all this. Shoes, for instance, you're going to be haggling from the get-go. If you don't haggle, you're definitely getting ripped off. It is a part of Chinese life. I've said it before, but China is the land of shortcuts and facades. And it's down to the government. You see, morals have been beaten out of society, and those who stand up for what's right get beaten down. As they say in China, the nail that sticks out gets hammered down. You think I'm kidding? There's a certain generation in China who experienced the starvation and depravity of Mao and his cultural devolution a great leap backwards. And that generation lack morals altogether. They hey, bro, they're stealing everything, bro. I did not... Hey, I'm sure every country has something like... Some sort of, like, con... Scamming thing going on. They know that it's survival of the cunning. 
That doesn't excuse this behavior, though, man. Come on now. And if they don't grab what they can now, there may be nothing to grab tomorrow, as seen here as these lost generation goons raid temple offerings. You know- Those goons, man, there's so many of them. You know how families put out offerings of food and alcohol for the gods and ancestors? Well, these grab hags, as I call them, don't give a shit. If there's something for free, they'll grab it. This behavior is unfortunate- Yeah, I'm sure like 99% of the population, if they found money, they'll go for it, guys. You know what I mean? They're, they're starving out there, bro. ...completely passed down to younger generations who grow up witnessing it. So what? You hey, bro. Looks like they were hungry, guys. Might ask. So what if people in China are cheating each other? How does it affect me? Well, of course it affects you. How many scandals have we been through in recent years? Poisonous dog food that killed pets abroad, lead-based paint in toys, toxic drywall, hair bands. Hey, drywall's been toxic though, man, with the asbestos. It's made out of used condoms, radial tires that come apart being sold in the USA, toothpaste tainted with diethylene glycol, Counterfeit Chinese makeup that contain harmful levels of lead, beryllium, aluminium, and bacteria. Chinese vape juice causing popcorn lung, not to mention the exploding vapes that injured countless people abroad when they exploded and caught on fire. No, no, no. This whole Nungpian Jiopian thing affects the entire world. Not to mention the devastating effects it has on the people of China. Fake milk powder that killed infants. Fake and expired vaccines, and of course the list goes on. No. It's not just a case of people making a quick buck through a light-hearted, fun sort of chicanery, no. This is a societal ill brought about by the poor governance of the CCP. And it's something that is dead. Hey, bro. They're straight up. And when I was homeless, we, were, we didn't act like that, guys. Deadly serious. Maybe it's worse in China. Something we should all pay very close attention to. As any normal human being would do. Myself included. I made a lot of excuses for this behavior when I lived in China. I would see the cheating ramp and rife fall around me. And I would always put it down to, ah, oh, it's a couple of bad eggs here and there. And of course, you know, it doesn't... Every country is going to have a few bad eggs, though. Every single one. Represent the... Guys, we were kind of right when we, uh... Thought it was like a channel dedicated to China. The entire... Entirety of China. Just look at his green screen here. Just China in the background. Society, and of course, it doesn't represent the entirety of society, but it's a big enough problem that it is a huge part of Chinese society, and it's something that we cannot ignore. Because if you try to ignore it and make excuses for it, you actually end up hurting people. And that's what my channel is all about. It's helping people understand the pitfalls of China, understand what to avoid so that you can see the good things. And if you walk in blind dealing with China, and it could be anything, it could be a business relationship, it could be buying things off of the internet, it could be uh, anything to do with China. If you walk in blind without the knowledge that this kind of thing permeates throughout the entire society in China, well, you're going to get taken advantage of. You it's just like RuneScape, bro. Just like RuneScape, so many scams going on. You will get cheated. And I hope you learn something and understand why cheating, theft, and deception are so prevalent in daily Chinese life. Thank you once again for watching my videos, and please join me on Friday for The China Show, where we bring you up-to-date news of what's happening in China, the soft power hour, and everything in between. A pretty cool video. Yeah, guys, they need to stop me painting pigs black. Several years ago, the brand new Fiona Stanley Children's Hospital here in West Jordan, Australia had to be shut down, decontaminated with an insulated roof panel supplied by a Chinese company were discovered to contain asbestos. Oh man, that's all bad. Ironically, you're probably the person, only person that witnessed China on the spot and has some, still has some positive words for it. I like China. But yeah, they got another channel called China Show, so they... They definitely uh, specialize in it, right, guys? Thank you for watching, guys. China.